All right, Cody Kaiser, the end of your first year at U23, you're going to Worlds. So first of all, talk to me about the course. You pre-wrote it yesterday. Uh, yeah, the course is uh, thick, is the you know, easiest way to describe it. Um, super fun though, lots of you know, short, steep descents and a couple of good, long, punchy climbs, and actually not long, punchy, but you know, long, gradual climbs, a uh, set of stairs, barriers. I'm not sure if bears are hoppable yet, but it might be. So oh, we haven't tried that yet? You're going to try I, that today? I, I might try it. They're pretty high. Yeah. They're, they're much higher from the front side, or from the back side than they are from the front side, but oh, okay. we'll see if they're, they're hoppable. But it's a really fun course. I'm glad to be here. So take me through, you know, once you start, you start on the track. So take me through the course as far as you remember. I know you didn't do that much of it yesterday. Oh. Uh, yeah, you, so you go lap and a half around the track, and you kind of head off into this just straightaway uh, mud section. Um, a couple lefts, a couple rights, and you come to a set of barriers, and then a uh, tricky off-camber uphill. Uh, I saw some good crashes yesterday, and then a uh, short, steep downhill, and then it's kind of a, a long, uh, gradual uphill to the top of the hill, and then you start to descend some more into the first pit, and then a uh, set of stairs, and then some more ascending to the top of the hill, and then a bunch of S-turns, long straightaways to the bottom of the hill, back to the track. So how technical is it, or is it just slogging through this thick, heavy mud? It's not super technical, but it is technical. Uh, there's a few really sharp S turns that you kind of, if you can take with some speed, it's you know a big advantage to you. Um, and if not, it's uh, you know it'll you'll lose some time there. Yeah, so the second pit. Okay, so I saw some. You know, you said some people went down. There were some serious ruts coming up on the off camber already. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's probably freezing overnight. So what do you think that's going to mean for the course? Uh, it should be fun. I'm looking to see. I'm glad to see you know what it does overnight because you know now that everyone's ridden it, see mm -hmm. how it freezes. Tomorrow will be different, but definitely that one that one rut section will be pretty key. I think the the main run is the way to go though. Okay. So tell me. Okay. So this, like I said, this your first year is a U23. So how different was it this year to last year as a junior, or was it? Um, it's actually different in a better way for me because there's less pressure. You know, last year when I won nationals, there's way more pressure to do well here. So this year it's you know. No pressure on me, um, but I, I still want to perform really well, so it should be a, a good time. Good yeah. To it. And what about you know, when you raced as uh, the World Cups as a U23 this year? Is that different, or um, even racing in the U.S.? Yeah, I, you know, it was different. In the U.S., I didn't have too much of an issue, um, you know, kind of getting used to the, the one-hour racing and, and doing that. But over here, it's a big difference. So, so such as? Uh, just faster, a little more. I mean, the same in the juniors, more aggressive, but they're... You know, it's you're kind of racing with the big boys over here, even though they're still U23. <laughs> but it's it's good. I'm having fun. And you're it's back fun. at the back of the field again. Yeah, so <laughs> back again, just like at home. So, <laughs> back, back row. So you're known you for fast starts. So how do you handle starting in the back? Um, it's tricky. I, you know, you have to do a little more, you know, maneuvering left, right. The hardest part for me is I always get tentative because you know crashes and stuff like that. So I don't go as hard as I should. So I kind of kind of put that to the back of my head and, and go hard at, at this race and I'll probably be able to move up pretty well. Okay, and if you have to pick a wheel, if you had to pick a wheel to be behind on the, the start row, where, who, would, who would it be? I don't know. Some Belgian. <laughs> I, I don't know who anybody is, to be honest. So, well, okay. in your field, you know, you've got Bosman, Baston, Lance, Lars, yeah. or Van der Haar. Well, I'm probably good, like six wheels behind them. So, <laughs> some other... Italian V-level rider, I'll be back there with him. So you know, okay. So you get called up, you know, your last few rows. So you know, it's it, it is already. I, I see the pushing, shoving, everybody trying to get the best position. So how do you decide where to go, who to go behind? Um, well, for me, because you, know, you start on the track and yeah. it's you know 50 yards before a big U-turn, kind of a sloping U-turn. So I'd probably be on the outside, um, risk getting shoved to the inside, rocky. Um, you know, to hopefully look for a clean line and then. Probably take most moving up would be barriers in that off camber section. Ah, I think. so you're gonna wait, wait is that for the start, but I yeah. think you could be interesting. Yeah, All right, some racing there. And then the last one, I saw some a lot of people tentative on that descent after the off camber. Yeah, <laughs> so no, no problems there. No problem, <laughs> no breaks all the way down. It's got a huge run out, so you're fine. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, what would you want to do on the Saturday? Um, what would be good for you? My, my goal, um, I finished 35th and older. So if I could track top 35, maybe even top 30, that'd be, be awesome. There's a couple of guys on the States team that I'd like to be right with, so okay. be good. Perfect. Thanks, Cody. Yep.